from a problem I've seen so far from when I tell anyone my dreams, my aspirations, my goals, which I don't do anymore, because I think it's very, very stupid, because when you tell someone your dreams, you basically affirm to yourself, you give yourself that feeling of actually just already accomplishing it, when you have in reality done fucking nothing, alright, anyways, moving on to the main point, when I tell anyone my dreams, my aspirations, my desires, I want to be rich, I want to be, be strong, I want to be this, I want to be that, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, everyone wants to be rich. As if it, in an attempt to undermine my my purpose, my value. And I think to myself, what's wrong with these people? <laughs> like, I told someone I want to get in shape. You know, they told me, they said, oh yeah, let's watch when you're 30. Let's see how good in shape you are. Huh? Huh? What? Scratching my head at that. It's so stupid sounding. It's very, very alarming how stupid sounding that is. I told someone I want to be rich. And they said, oh yeah, but everyone wants to be rich. Which is completely true. Everyone wants to be rich, but no one is doing anything to be rich. Do you understand when I say that? Like, what are you... This is a question I need to ask myself as well. And I think that when I ask this question, it's not just to me. It's just to everyone around me. It's, it's, it's not... It obviously, is a question directed towards me. This video is selfish in in some sense of nature because it's for me. Like, I'm, I watch it, watch it back. Reflection. Me, 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 me. What are you doing in order to get rich? You have a business going, side hustle. You learning programming or something? So go, I don't know, focus on AI. AI is really profitable right now. Chat GBT and a lot, a bunch of other billionaires being created out of thin air, literally thin air. Billionaires being created out of thin air with AI technology. Are you doing anything in order to progress to your goals? Are you? I, guess I can say for sure that I, I've been slacking. No. No, no for me. Is it also no for you? Because if it is, then it's alarming. That's very, very worrying. Because you're just gonna be stay, stay in the same mediocre place for the rest of your life. And if you if you're happy doing that, sure. But who is ha truly happy being mediocre? Who is truly happy living the same mundane life ever? I remember I, I watched this guy called How uh, How Money Works, and he's a pretty good YouTuber. I don't know what he looks like. He doesn't show his face. But he's just like a financial self-help YouTuber. And he said, why you want a mundane job that achieves absolutely nothing? Why would I want a mundane job? Like, what the fuck is this guy trying to force down my throat? Why would I want a mundane job that achieves nothing? That I feel not even feel fulfilled by? When I fucking see Sally and Tom and Ryan and Bill in the office... It's a fucking cubicle doing work all day. Like why why would I be happy doing that? Like working a mundane job like that. Of course you're not happy. That's the point of work, right? But at least if you're gonna, you're gonna be unhappy working, you at least should have some monetary gain, so it's all justified. Like five, ten K a month. So it's all justified. No? People are very, very quick to shame you. People are very, very quick to shame you. Put you down. To bring you down to that level. Because it makes them feel okay with their mundane reality. I remember I told this 9 to 5 guy one time. Let's call him Stephen. So that's real name. Of course not real name. I don't even know Stephen. <laughs> I don't even know Stephen. I'm going to call him Stephen. Stephen over here works a 9 to 5. He's 50 years old. Right, it's a very, very broad topic. It's going to be hard to find Stephen. None of you guys can find Stephen. <laughs> Stephen, he works a 9 to 5, and then he tells me, when I meet him in person, about the stock market and investing and 10% returns. And if you invest 400 grand into this place, it gives you 40k a year, and this, this, and that. And I said something that stumped Stephen on his ass. And, I, and after that, I, after meeting Stephen, I, my priorities change. I don't want to share my ambitions anymore. I don't want to share my ambitions anymore because when I, you share your ambitions, uh, I one one people get jealous. Two two is a waste of time. Like why would I share my ambitions with an idiot that is not that's not really going anywhere in his life? Like telling me Stephen's here telling me about fucking investing into the stock market, S and P five hundred. Of course, it's good advice. Investing investing young investing is good. Or oh, Warren Buffett. 
invest made the majority of his wealth after he re, after 50 right when he was like 70 or 80 already he made the majority of his wealth billions what's the point of billions when you're already old and weak it's very very difficult to enjoy life you're just tired all the time I mean, with my with my um, grandparents, they don't look or feel old because they exercise regularly and they, they use sports, so it's fun. They have a community. They've created a community of people around them, so they can become that rich, and wealthy. It says that they're healthy and they got money, time and money, of course. But like, if you see Warren Buffett, amazing investor, phenomenal investor, great attitude towards investing he sticks to what he knows that's the best thing the best philosophy right you stick to what you know well that's the advantage of internet because if you can know everything you can stick to a lot of things but i do you stick to one industry because then you can you know fully focus up on all your talents yeah da, 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 da. And steven is the guy that told me in the previous video i said was in this video? I don't even know this game. I remember this. I'm, I'm trying to dig through my memory in order to remember this right now. Steven said, well, everyone wants to become rich. And it wasn't in a questioning way. Of course, this is very in tune with my emotions now, which is not good. Don't be in tune with your... No, of course, be in tune with your emotions, but think about it mentally, not emotionally, not outwardly. Don't parade your emotions like a, like a banner, like colors on a banner, right? Keep your emotions inside and tucked, tucked away, controlled. It's the best way to approach life, in my opinion. Especially with anger and sadness, and resentment, all these stupid emotions. Give them a touch check. Spat them out. One at a time. And it wasn't in a way in which it was questioning me, like, what are you doing to become rich? It was like, oh, I gave them my ideal ideals to become rich. I gave on my ambition to become rich and I'm trying to push that onto you now. And it's 50 working a nine to five. What? What? What what are you doing, Steven? What are you doing? And I said to him, when we were talking about this investing, like we were talking about you can invest in this company, this pharmaceutical company, and then it gives you ten percent ROI returns annually and da -da 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 -da. You need a bunch of money to invest. Invest is for rich people, right? Rich people use investment investments and investment funds for income, index funds for income. Poor people use it to try to get rich. It's not going to be possible, right? It is possible, but it isn't probable that you're going to become rich within the next year or the next year or the next year. It's going to take 40 years to 50 years of your entire life. That's five decades, four decades. People underestimate time threshold for things. You, if you spend the next decade grinding on business, and grinding on providing value to the market, you'd be infinitely more successful than this than these fifty year old, sixty year old, seventy year old people that need to invest in the stock market. Well, what is this? You'll die. It's not for you. This, this is the thing I told him. Like this money isn't for you, is it? This is for your kids. And he was like, Yeah, you're right. It's for my kids. You're just gonna end up. Watch, I'm gonna watch on the profanity. Chill out on the profanity there. You're just gonna end up raising spoiled brats who don't know, understand the who do not understand the concept of money. If, if it does become successful, successful. If it doesn't become successful, you lose all your money. Amazing. What type of trade is that? What? The millionaire fast lane just instilled this ideology into me where, like, making a million. All right, it is difficult, but it is possible. And becoming rich is possible. Ten years, I'll be twenty-seven, turning twenty-eight. To so, so become a multi-millionaire by then, amazing. The hell? I'm happy. I'm happy. <sighs> Don't let other people crush you. Don't let other people convince you otherwise. Stay true to your ideals. Stay true to your philosophy. I think my philosophy's wavered a bit. So that's my mistake. I'm telling you not to replicate my mistake. Your experience. If you truly believe in something, you work your ass off at it. It's very, very difficult to fail. It's very, very difficult to fail. No one says, oh yeah, I've been working my ass off, working in an insurance company. I'm the CEO and founder. I've been working here for 10 years and it's killing me. 
No one says that. Unless it's stress. Stress can kill you. But then it's all about your approach to stress, right? And if you have routine exercise, it's very, very easy to relieve that stress. Like, I see a lot of guys in the boxing gym. They just go there just to get the same. Just to relieve all that stress from daily life. It's, it is an amazing crutch. Because when you put all your blood, sweat and tears into boxing, right? Doesn't matter what age you are. And you grind out and you sweat it out. You grind it out, you sweat it out. It's like, it's, it's, it's benefits on all sides. It's just a slight pain and struggles for a bit. Like, I don't know. I train, I train hard. I train for a long time. A few hours. You get like an hour, two hours a day. It's just an hour, two hours a day of just sweating and grinding, getting all that stress out, getting a mental health in check. And just infinite both benefit. You get into great shape. The great shape. The results fuel your motivation. And then you can just continue, continuously keep going. You need to get through that first bur uh, burden, the first hurdle. And you're fine. I remember I went to a boxing gym with my friend, my boxing gym, my friend, and he was just, he was like, I'm scared, I don't want to go in, I'm scared, I don't want to go in. Let's call him Stefan. Stefan was like, I'm scared, I don't want to go in, I'm scared, I don't want to go in. I'm like, why are you scared? Like, he, he was literally running away, he was going home. Can you leave this guy? He, he came out, it took like an hour to get to the boxing gym, no, it was less than an hour, his, fat, his dad or something, or his brother drove him. It took like a that long, and he was just about to walk away and run away from the thing, from his fears, and just run away. And he's been, he's airing my phone now. I called him, I messaged him, he's airing me, he's a coward. Right? So he's never really gonna amount to anything in life. Up to him. Follow me. Because he really wanted to pursue boxing, he really wanted to pursue it. Given the opportunity, he didn't pursue it. Why? Why? Go boxing, you punch a bag, you push up to the floor, you shadow boxing, so it's nothing like you're gonna die, you'll be fine. I don't understand weakness, even though I was weak before, I don't understand weakness because everyone has a choice. You know, in, I said this in my previous video, but you need to examine your choices back to the shaming thing, the people thing. Like, it's your choice to listen to these people that will bring you down. To their level, and then they'll mock you for it. Oh, hey, look at this guy! This guy wants to be, he wants to be rich. This guy wants to be rich. This guy wants to do this. this guy wants to do that. They will mock you, but they will bring you down to their level because they because they want to, because they need to. Because it makes them feel comfortable. Because if you become successful, they become immensely uncomfortable. Think about that. Why do rich people always hide away? Why are they all so low key? You see. Go to like Beverly Hills in Miami. Go to any upstate area, a gated community in America, in UK, in Asia, in any place in the world. There's rich people everywhere, teeming. Gated communities, Rolls Royce, luxury cars, massive estates, like thousand, few thousand square foot houses. But why are they so low key, all of them? It's because of the immense envy, immense jealousy, and immense disgusting emotion directed towards them because they're so successful. People can become uncomfortable when you're successful. People become un uncomfortable when you have ambition. You have to remember that. If you have ambition, hold on to it and use it and direct it towards something positive and become rich or whatever you want to do. Become world champion boxer. It doesn't matter. If you have ambition, hold on to it because no one else is going to care about you as much as you're going to have to care about yourself. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. People only give a fuck when you're successful. And that's when they either love you or hate you. And the hate's much more than the, than the love, for sure. Hate resonates much louder than the love. Anyway, I'm gonna take a shower now. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.